right now. Okay, let's see here. Snow records, ready. Coordinates, height, findings. No video entries. So bizarre. It's almost like their system is completely restarted. Check out your vitals here. Locked. Main override. Main override. Yeah, there we go. Wow, these oxygen levels are extremely low. Okay. Good thing I got up here when I did. Shut quad down. Hey, can you hear me? There we go. Just wake up nice and slow, okay? I know you don't know me. Don't freak out. My name is Shani. I'm also with NASA. It's gonna be okay. They set me up here. Again, just take it nice and slow. Your oxygen levels were extremely low. It looks like it was almost depleted. So I do have some extra here that I brought. They set me up here with it. So take some deep breaths in for me. Just take it nice and slow. From what I can tell, you've been out for a while. So. Don't worry, we'll get to all the details in a minute. Let's just get your levels back up, okay? All right. Just keep breathing in for me. A few more. Okay. That should be good for now. If your vitals still seem low, I might have to do a little bit more here in a bit. How are you feeling, okay? A little disoriented, I'm sure. Yeah, like I said, I'm Shani. I'm also with NASA. They set me up here to take a look around. No one was answering our radio signals. Yeah, how much do you remember? We are still in space, yeah. Do you know what happened to the rest of the crew here? You can't remember. It happens with cryo sleep. Just give it a little bit, your memory should come back. You've been in a state of stasis for a while now. But we'll get into the details in a minute. Your system looks like it's been fried or somehow damaged and I can't really take too good of a look at your vitals so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way so let's see if you have anything for me to write down anything on here we go and this will do all right Can you tell me your name? Okay. Do you remember how many others were on the ship with you? Good, okay, yeah, that's correct. Just checking. I know the names of all of you, but I wanna see how much you're remembering and How much is coming back here, so. Again, just take it slow. 
I'm going to try to ask you some questions as we go, but we're going to be here a while. I'm just going to start by sanitizing my hands. You've been out for a while, and I'm sure your immune system is down. And I don't want to transmit any kind of bacteria or infection or anything to you, so. You look like you've been through hell. Sorry, I don't mean to be offensive, but definitely didn't get some beauty sleep, did you? You look like you have an open wound. We'll have to take a look at that. If you remember anything long ago, please tell me. I'd like to know what happened to you. That's why I was sent up here. Well, I can try to jog your memory. In a second, I'm just going to put on some gloves. Just to be extra safe. I also don't know what you've been exposed to either, and I'd like to not contract anything. So we're going to start with your vitals, like I said. You had low levels of oxygen, so I'm guessing your blood pressure is going to be low too, but we'll take a quick look. Hold out your arm for me. Just going to get this. Nice and snug here. Does that feel okay? All right. Okay. It is a little low. One fifteen over seventy eight. We'll give you some oxygen in a minute if it doesn't go up, okay? All right. Yeah, I know you probably have a ton of questions. Let me just check your heart and your lungs real fast because you can't talk for that. And then I'll try to tell you what I know and you can try to tell me what you know, okay? Go ahead and lift your shirt up for me a little bit. Just getting a little close here. Okay. Deep breaths in for me. Okay. And you can go back to breathing normally. Just listening to your heart. Okay. Everything sounds fine. Your lungs sound good. Alright. So, what I know. You and your crew have been up here for years, and you were on the space shuttle Nostromo. You were actually on your way back to Earth when you guys received a distress beacon. Is that sounding familiar? Sort of. Yeah, give it some time, your memories will start to come back. But it was coming from the moon, LV-426. And to the most of my knowledge, you all stopped to investigate the distress beacon. It's part of our code. We look up all distress beacons. And 
That's when we lost contact with you. And we haven't heard from you guys in about 10 years. Yeah, like I said, you've been up here for some time. They've actually, they had given up hope of finding you guys until a year ago, your pod that were in here came back on our radar. We tried radioing up to you, but we had no response. So they sent me up here to see if anyone was aboard, and that's when I found you asleep. So here we are. Jogging any memories yet? You do remember stopping? Do you remember what you guys saw or what happened? No. Don't worry about it. I still have quite a bit of an exam to do before I feel comfortable enough to move you to my ship to get out of here, so we want to make sure you're in good health and that we're not going to bring anything back with us. Let me just get your temperature here. Hold still. I have a forehead thermometer. Keep things sanitary. Okay. okay. It was a little low, but it doesn't surprise me. Your ship was running low on a lot of things, and your electricity and communications and stuff had been down, so it was probably chilly. Go ahead and look at me. Look directly at my nose. Try not to move your head and your neck and your shoulders. And I'm just going to take this pen light and I'm going to take a look at your eyes, okay? Okay. All right, everything seems to be dilating properly. All right, do me a favor. Continue to keep your head, your neck, and your shoulders still. And just follow this light with your eyes only, okay? Okay. Here we go. How oh, something's coming back to you? All right, one second. Let's just finish following this light, and I'll have you tell me here. Very good, very good. All right, so what do you remember? You guys found light on me on LP-426, really? Well, that would be amazing. We've had radio signals and such, but we've never actually found an actual specimen. What did it look like? Did you get a sample? Oh, it's terrifying. It was like a mix between like a lobster and a spider. About how big was it? As big as a human head. You sure you weren't dreaming? It attached itself. And then what happened? You guys tried to help and it was already dead. I mean, it sounds like a horror story. 
and there's no proof or sample of anything. Okay. Well, no, I'm not saying I don't believe you, I just, I mean, you have to know how it sounds. But I'm glad you're starting to remember something. Let's keep going and you just tell me if you remember anything else, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to test your eyes just a little more. Go ahead and stare at my nose here. And I'm going to hold my hands out to the side. And just tell me on what hand I'm holding up fingers and how many I'm holding up, okay? Okay. Here we go. Three, good. One, good. Two. Five. Five. Correct. Four. Two. Three. One. One. Four. Very good. Okay. Looks like you are seeing fine, so that's good. Let me just take a look into your mouth here. I'm also going to get a sample. Just so I can test and make sure that you're in good condition to get on my ship and not bring anything with you. All right. All right, I got this tongue depressant right here. Go ahead and open up your mouth and stick out your tongue flat. Say ah for me. Okay. Everything looks good in there. I'm just going to get a quick swab. So I'm going to have you open up your mouth again and stick out your tongue. And I'm going to grab a sample, okay? All right. Here we go. Say, uh. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I know that can be uncomfortable, but... I'm just going to use this to test. We got that sample. I do still need to check your hearing, but your room does look pretty bad. So I'm just going to take a second to clean you up and patch you up. And then we'll give you a shot here just to make sure that it's not infected. And then I'll test your hearing and reflexes, okay? Okay. So I do have some rubbing alcohol in a cotton mount, and I'm just going to give that a couple sprays, and this is probably going to sting. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Sorry, but we need to make sure it's disinfected. Do you remember how you got this? No. From broken glass? Why was there broken glass? What happened? Can't remember. It's okay. We'll come back to you soon. Alright, we're just going to sew you up real quick. 
Yeah, it does look like it needs a couple stitches. So, do you remember if the rest of the crew made it out? Were there any other pods launched or anything like that? It's okay, just focus on trying to remember because I want to see if there's anyone else out there that we can pick up before we head back. The more the better. Alright, we're just going to stitch that up here. I don't have anything to numb the pain, I'm sorry, just you only need a couple, it'll be okay. Here, do you want to bite down on this? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go, ready? I'm sorry. Again. I think we can get away with two more, okay? On the count of three. Three, two, one. Alright. Last one, last one. Tie that off here. Okay. There you go. All right. We're all done there. I'm just going to bandage you up, okay? How's that? Not too tight. You have to make it a little tight, but let me know if it's too tight. We just need some pressure on it to stop the bleeding. Okay. All right. Very good. You're not feeling dizzy or no sore throat, nausea. Okay. You are a little nauseous. Well, that can be a side effect of the stasis that you were in, but. If it gets worse than just feeling a little nauseous, let me know. You didn't have a fever or anything, so I think you're going to be okay. Okay. I'm just going to take a quick peek in your ears, okay? Alright. Did you hear that? I could have sworn it sounded like someone else was on this pod. You said no one else got on here with you? No. You're probably just space to breathe on. Let me check your ear over here. Okay. I don't see anything on this side. Everything looks good, no fluid. I'm gonna say a couple numbers. Let me know if you can say them back to me, okay? Ten. Quiet. Eighty-five. Quiet. Twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Sixty. 
57. Go ahead. 78. Excellent. Okay, other side. This ear is looking good as well. Let's just try those numbers again. Are you hearing everything okay? All right. 54. Good. Three. Good. 17. Mm -hmm. 38. Good. 92. Good. 100. Good, good, okay. Okay. Well, your ears look good. It looked like you were hearing okay. I'm just going to check some frequencies. In my med kit, I have two tuning forks. One is higher than the other, the other is lower pitched, and I'm just gonna hit them, hold them up to your ears, and I just want you to tell me if you can hear it and when it stops, okay? All right, here we go. Other side. Tell me when it stops. Okay. We're just gonna do the other one here. What was that? You guys remember splitting off. So some of you stayed up on the ship and some went and checked out the um, for the distress signal. Okay. Are you sure they're all dead? How did they die? I mean, that's pretty big. NASA and everyone are gonna wanna know what happened. Wow. We're almost done. Try focusing on that. We definitely will need a story of what happened. Here we go. Yes, this one is higher. Okay, good. Other side. Yes, your family is fine. I haven't told them yet that you're the one that I found in the cryo chamber yet. But all of the families of you aboard have been made aware that we found a pod from Nostromo, so. We will get to see them if everything checks out soon. We'll move over to my ship and we'll head back. Let's give you that quick vaccine to make sure you don't have an infection. And then I'm just going to check your reflexes, okay? All right, let's go 
go ahead and clean up an area with some rubbing alcohol later. Alright. Are you ready? Let me just put a bandage on that. There we go. Okay. So lastly, I'm just going to check your reflexes. I'm going to put two fingers right here on your chin. Give it a little whack and we'll see how your reflexes are here. Good, one more time. Good. All right, let me check your knees. Good, other side. Good, okay. Can you open up your eyes really big? Yeah, like you're shot. Shut them really tight. Smile. Good. Frown. Kissy face. Very good. All right. I'm going to put my hands on your shoulders and I want you to... I'm going to push down. I want you to push up and don't let me push you down, okay? Okay. Here we go. Very good. Okay. All right. It all looks really good. Everything seems to be checking out. I'm just going to run the quick test on the sample I took and make sure we don't have any infection or bacteria. And if that checks out, we can leave start heading back today. Why do you look like that? You remember? Oh, you remember being stuff that's great. Why don't you tell me? Yeah, you said that you guys found that face size lobster spider hybrid. You found more? What did it look like? That can't be correct. No way, you found something that large? Are you sure this wasn't a dream? NASA will never believe it. It took out the rest of the crew? Well, what happened to it? How did you get away? You had to have killed it if you made it away. It followed you to the pod? Oh, but you opened up the door and then it flew out of the airlock. It didn't get out of the airlock, but that would mean that it's still on 